This lecture is to show you how to create a page and then using table tag to control its format. Let me open an existing page. And if you're in the right folder where you have stored some existing page in Notepad, you should change the document type to all files. Then you can find the .htm or .html document. Let's say this is the one that we can use. I'm going to save as a resume page. Make sure it's a text document and name the document with .htm or .html. So this will be, let's say, Bob Smith resume as a title. Then you can start creating, uh, for instance, this would be Bob Smith. Just give this a name. And then you want to lay out Bob Smith um, educational experience. So I'm going to say each one. Educations. And Bob is going to graduate May 2011 from CSU Channel Island with a degree in uh, BS in in business. And Bob graduated May 2008 from let's say Moore Park College, Moore Park uh, Community College. And with an associate degree, uh, let's say in English. So if you do this, even you try to line up, it's not going to work. Uh, I can prove it to you. Ideally, this looks good enough, but let's save it. If you bring up the browser, open, browse, open the resume page, you find out that uh, they put everything in one line uh, because we don't have any format control tag to control this. Certainly, you can use a break to break break it, it helped a little bit, but not too much. So in this case, for instance, the degree and the major is not lined up properly. To solve the problem, we need to use table um, to fix this problem. So we're going to just say table and this is the first row, so I'm going to say table row. This is the first column. We're going to say table data and end of table data, which is also referred to as a table cell. The second cell is the institution where you get your degree. And the third one is your major. We don't need a break anymore. So end of TR, which means table row. TD means table data or table cell. So in order to create another row, I can just say copy this. I'm going to cut this, paste it over, More Park Community College. And AS degree in English. So let's save it. 
refresh and you find that it's lining up pretty good um, to improve it a little bit better we can control the the width of a table cell and the column it belongs to by just adding width and the unit measure is pixel so we're going to just say 20 and for this one we can just say width um, for the second one we're going to define the width and give it let's say 200 see whether that's big enough then let's save it so now we have a little bit wider column for the second column of the institution and this we may need to give more uh, let's say 60 so that looks good and if you really want you can actually give your table a borderline let's say border equal to 1 need to be put in the table tab inside the table tab so then it would show the um, borderline for the table and if you want to get rid of the borderline just use the table for laid out purpose then without the border attribute uh, would do the job for you okay one more thing we can add to the table is the table heading or column heading in this case so if we change TD to TH then this will be let's say year this will be the heading of institution and this will be let's say major and let's save it if you refresh you find out that's the heading column heading in this case column heading will be in bold face it will be center if you want it to be aligned to the to the left then you have to do it in the cell you say align to the left then that looks much better okay and you can continue this with your resume uh, putting experience and you can list experience uh, you also using table to control its layout so this concludes our um, tutorial on HTML table